Calico for a very special edition of the Thursday Three. Halloween is just around the corner, so we wanted to show you some of the ways that we've been getting creative to decorate for the upcoming spooky holiday. Today I'm joined by Julia, she's part of the crew, and she's going to tell you about all the exciting things we're doing with tomato cages this year. Alright, so with these tomato cages, we've created a few spooky friends. We have our witch here, um, which is the tomato cage underneath. We tie these together so uh, they come together and then we put uh, cotton on top and wrap that with fabric and overlay some uh, trash bags if you got them um, for our witch or cloth would work. Um, if you wanted to do a ghost you could do white cloth um, with some tulle over, whatever you got. Um, and then you can get yourself a witch hat and decorate that however you want with some dried flowers or leaves or feathers. Um, yeah, and then we uh, curled some fabric for our hair and we have some pine cones sneaking in through here for our hair. Um, and then we also made a uh, broom down here and we foraged all of these grasses with the broom. And you can use paper towel holders, um, bamboo sticks, whatever you like and wrap them up with ribbon, um, and you got yourself a witch. All with just a tomato cage. All with just a tomato cage. What we are also, these right here? We also made a ghost. I'll throw a shot of that at the end. Um, just jumping off what she said there, there's some forged elements there. One of our, our next tip for this Halloween season is to use forged elements and mix it with things that you would normally find in a bouquet. So, if you didn't know, we do sell flowers by the stem here at the nursery. As you can see, we have some great sort of autumnal picks, these uh, sort of beautiful mums. And what we like to do, well actually what Maureen likes to do, because she's <laughs> sort of the genius behind all of this, she loves to go out and sort of go crazy in the fields that we have around here and grab foraged elements, a lot of which you can see here. There's some cedar, some grasses, just some beautiful fall color. And right here, you can see all the ways in which she combines sort of our normal stems that you would find at a florist, like these roses and these mums and these orchids, along with things like beautiful sticks and bark and grasses and other things that you can find right in your garden that are super colorful, special, especially this time of year. So that's our recommendation. Use some uh, ingenuity in your garden, in your landscape, and go crazy, and then pat it out with maybe some uh, cut stems from right here at the nursery. And again, Another jumping off point. As you can see, Maureen has arranged this right into a pumpkin. This is an actual sugar pumpkin. She's even used the top of the pumpkin as a little bit of a decoration. And another way that you can use pumpkins, our tip number three, is as a planter for your mums. Um, Julia actually potted this one right up. This is one of our four inch mums and it's in one of our sugar pumpkins. She even added the lid as well, just so that for a little bit of a extra autumnal decoration. We love this especially because it means that your mum container is compostable, so at the end of the season, you can just put your mum right in the compost pile. Anyways, so those are your, that's your Thursday three, three ways to get creative with stuff you might already have at the garden or that you can come pick up here for the upcoming spooky holiday. Thanks so much, Julia, for telling us about the tomato cages. No problem, thank you. And uh, we hope you guys all have a great week and we'll see you next week. We walk away. Oh. <laughs>